I'm sure most parents will tell you sending their children off to college and into the real world can be difficult. Well, for parents whose children experience disabilities, that independence is something that might not seem realistic. At Taft College, the transition to an independent living program is aimed at helping young adults do just that. The Now's Alyssa Flores walks us through a day in the life of students whose special needs are now being met. Alyssa? Yeah, Jessica, they are tasks like grocery shopping, laundry, paying bills, making appointments. We do them every day without much thought, but for those with intellectual disabilities that have always required a little extra help most of their lives, the transition to independent living program is where, where they're going to learn to help themselves. They're like any other students. They're young. They have certain dreams and wishes and goals that they want to complete. The primary goal for these students, independence, <laughs> which is what brings students like freshman Ryan Larson to Taft College. <laughs> the transition to independent living program helps young adults with intellectual disabilities yeah. make the jump from relying on support now try. to doing it all on their own. I know it's not really probably a good thing to live with your parents their whole life and it's just, I mean, I think it was time for me to know what it was like without that. Typically it's, it's people that were born with a disabling condition and they're not able to care for themselves. Social skills, personal finance, health, wellness, personal advocacy and cooking. <laughs> Classes that are part of the two year till curriculum attracting students up and down California. Remember, keep the knife pointing down. Basic things that we all kind of do in life and take for granted, but realize that some people just need to be taught these skills. Sometimes they have a little bit more trouble learning that. And like I said before, it's about breaking stuff down. Many away from their loved ones for the first time. They were very helpful, but they were, it, this is probably something you more wanted to hear. They were also like limiting me in a way. And it's because they were doing more things than they probably should have been for me. That's just how parents are. Freshman students living in on-campus dorms. All cities I created. Sophomores off campus. Milk and coffee yeah. cream. Learning to grocery shop. <laughs> take public transportation, hold down part-time jobs, and balance their budgets. Still leaves you with some money to put in savings. By creating a sort of living laboratory, if you will, where students can learn what they need to do independently in the classroom setting and then apply it in their home setting. Just seeing the, the students blossom, you know. You go from a student that couldn't hold a toilet brush to one that's hopping on the bus and going shopping and heading to their job every day and attending classes. And with newfound independence comes confidence, not just for students, but for their families too. I'm sure that my parents thought it would be tougher for me, for sure. But I have never really thought about that because I don't want to be one that just makes excuses. They feel very confident that their child's going to be able to survive in, in, a, in a work world. The relief that I think that a parent must feel when they know their kid's going to be okay. <laughs> you know, that they're going to be okay out there. The TIL program at Taft College is now accepting applications for the 2018-2019 school year. They accept 52 students from ages 18 to 30 each year. For more information, you can check out our website, turn to 23com